we have only come into contact with a very small group of humans. 30,000 feet of misunderstanding separates us from them. We still know so little about them. We must move the Ryuku Kingdom to the surface so that one day we can look upon the real sun. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today we are going to be zeroing in on a particularly special mermaid by the name of Otohime. Otohime is a goldfish mermaid who served as queen of the Ryugu Kingdom on Fishman Island. She was married to Neptune, the king, and mother of four children being Fukuboshi, Ryuboshi, Manboshi, and Shirahoshi. Otohime was a devoted queen and mother. In fact, she really did fit the definition of selfless to a T. Her compassionate personality would often lead her into the common areas of the Ryugu Kingdom in order to deal with matters concerning the welfare of her people directly. In fact, on one occasion, Otohime took it upon herself to stop a thief, and furthermore proceeded to appeal to the thief to change his ways, which proved very successful. Successful. This is partially due to the fact that Otohime was born with an incredible talent for observation haki and was able to apply it to become something of an empath, able to understand the feelings of others and using that understanding to make a genuine appeal to their hearts. Although physically, Otohime is significantly more frail than just about any other character we've encountered in the series thus far. For example, after slapping the thief she caught, her hand suffered complex fractures from the action, although even with that injury she continued to slap him to his senses, demonstrating her surprisingly great endurance in the way of pain. However, arguably Otohime's greatest skill lies in her abilities as a public speaker and a diplomat. For example, as a ruler, Otohime is best known for her work in promoting relations between fishmen and humans, a matter still subject to high tension in the modern day One Piece world. At the time, Otohime presented one of two opposing ideals concerning humans, with the other ideal being embodied by Fisher Tiger, who firmly believed that the two races should remain separate. However, Otohime was undeterred by this and would regularly hold public preaching sessions with the aim of convincing the citizens about the benefits of forming bonds with humans and even suggesting that the best way forward was for fishmen to ascend to the surface world and coexist with humans under the rays of a common sun. Furthermore, Otohime implored her subjects to sign a petition, lending their support to the idea of relocating the fishman race. Although for quite some time this proved to be a less than fruitful endeavor. Over five years, Otohime was eventually able to gather around 1,000 signatures from a population of over 5 million. But sadly, even those signatures were eventually rescinded as people moved to support the ideology of Fisher Tiger, particularly after his tragic death. Now, before I said that there was one word that perfectly fit Otohime, being selfless. And well, I may have lied, because there is another word that was crafted specifically for this character, and that is persistence. Despite the extremely underwhelming amount of support for her ideals, Otohime kept fighting day after day, always wearing a brave public face. However, this most certainly took an emotional toll on her, with Otohime on at least one occasion breaking down into tears in the privacy of her own quarters, whilst on another occasion she became greatly intoxicated and decided to address the entirety of Fishman Island, never a good idea by the way, making a desperate plea that their race, who can live anywhere in the world should not be trapped in such a small space under the sea. And while this emotionally charged message did manage to touch the hearts of the public, it was still not enough to move them to support Otohime's ideals. However, shortly after, a day would come where fishmen would have to make a solid decision regarding their true beliefs, and it all began with a shipwreck that made its way to Fishman Island, carrying a world noble by the name of Saint Mosgard. Now just a short note on world nobles. These figures are the descendants of the kingdoms who came together to form the world government, and are the current ruling power of the One Piece world. They are known to be particularly selfish and despicable, with no respect for life they deem on a lower level than them. Essentially, they are the worst of the worst when it comes to humanity, and I still feel like that's an understatement. In fact, Otohime's ideological rival Fisher Tiger was considered a hero for invading the homeland of the world nobles and causing all hell whilst freeing as many slaves as he could. Plus, in a climate where tensions between fishmen and regular humans were already heated, encountering a world noble was almost destined to end in bloodshed. And I say almost, because just before the Sun Pirates managed to kill Mosgard, Otohime threw herself in front of the bullet and saved his life. This action was taken primarily to prevent the hatred in the hearts of fishmen from being passed on to the children of the island, many of whom were watching the exchange. Instead, Mosgard was given a ship and Otohime personally accompanied him to the surface, despite the objections of the kingdom. One week later, Otohime would return to Fishman Island with a letter from the world nobles dictating their support of Otohime's petition. Meaning so long as Otohime was able to source an overwhelming amount of signatures, then the world nobles would consider her proposal to relocate to the surface world at the next reverie. And with this news, the people of Fishman Island had an abrupt change of heart, and citizens filled Gyeongkot Plaza for days on end, eager to submit their support. However, there was still a dedicated group of fishmen who had no interest in this idea, preferring to live in isolation from humans. This group would become known as the New Fishman Pirates, led by Hody Jones, who proceeded to burn the petitions and assassinate Otohime. 
Just prior to her death, Otohime made one final plea to her children, asking them not to be consumed by hatred as a result of this event, and in response, Prince Fukuboshi vowed to collect the signatures once more and strive to achieve the ideals that Otohime had fought her whole life for. Otohime seeing a bright future for the Fishman race, then smiled and passed away. Following her death, there was an uproar on Fishman Island as the assassination ringleader Hody Jones had framed a human, claiming that he was the perpetrator, thus reigniting the racial tension between Fishman and humans. However, much of the population, including some very key figures such as Jinbei, still live by Otohime's words and strive to make her ideals a reality. Some more fun facts about Otohime. Despite the fact that Otohime's age was never specifically stated in the series, we can confirm that she was at least 30 due to having a split in her tail, which only occurs once a mermaid reaches the age of 30. Otohime shares her name with the goddess Otohime, who is the daughter of the Japanese sea god Ryujin. In fact, Princess Otohime features in a particular folktale featuring a fisherman by the name of Urashima Taro, which has been an inspiration for several aspects of One Piece, including the Ryugu Kingdom itself and the ever important Tamate Bako. All right, and just a spoiler warning for our next fact, because this one is going to delve into the events of the reverie. If you don't wish to be spoiled, then just mute this video until the warning vanishes. But as for now, here we go. Despite the grand figures in this world, such as Fisher Tiger and Jinbei, Otohime has arguably had the most influence in the One Piece world, having seemingly changed the heart of a world noble, being Don Quixote Mosgard, during her week spent with him. Mosgard appeared during the reverie to save Shirohoshi from capture, claiming that he was reformed. And if this is true, then this is one of the greatest accomplishments that any character has ever had in the world of One Piece. Because changing a world noble ain't easy. And finally, a truly useless fact. Along with her core beliefs on the future of the Fishman race, Otohime had at least one other strong opinion, which was that a child should never have snot hanging from only one nostril. Although apparently it is perfectly acceptable to have snot hanging from both. And that pretty much does it for Otohime. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line View Patreon, because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also, I've recently launched a Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items, with proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece, 101.